You fucking beautiful, beautiful people. Thank you so much. So we're our resistance. We come from Steve Nitt. Got a lot of friends here tonight as well. But I'll get to them in a minute. But you know what? Do you guys like it heavy? Do you guys want us to drop it a little bit heavier? Yeah. This one goes out to my boys in Annunciation who just tore this shit out right before. It's about the end of the fucking world! This one's called All I Stand. Let's see those next fucking play. Oh, 
Massive shout out to some of our friends that are here tonight. We have Slave Steel, we got coming up later on. We had our friends Annunciation just before this. The Royalists also just before this. We have our friends in Countless Skies just after us. And obviously those crazy samurais in Whispered. It's a fucking wonderful day to be here, don't you think? This shit ain't over yet though, right? Now, we're our resistance. Have any, have any of you guys heard of us before? Yeah. Awesome. Just a couple, maybe, your granddad. Um, <laughs> well, you guys all know about our messages. And, uh, and you know what? I don't care how many of you have heard it before. I don't care whether you believe us or not. But at the end of the day, I'm going to keep saying this into the lungs. Stop pumping air out of my face. Now, this one specifically goes out to anyone who's ever dealt with any kind of mental illness. Any kind of depression, anxiety, anything along those lines. It could be the most isolating fucking thing in the world. But, but, us metalheads were one fucking family. Is that or is that not right? And our brothers and sisters, we're all here for one another. Now, if you ever need someone to talk to because your friends are complete dickbags. See, I did something different that time. Lovely. Well done, you. Your family might be absolute cockwombles. Good choice. I have to get that in there. It's my favourite word. Um, and they just might not understand because back in their day, all they did was get pissed. And uh, that was the way they dealt with the issues. And that's not how you fucking make things better. Now, when things seem so fucking dark, it seems like nothing will get better. But fucking hell, if you ask anyone who's come through it, there are so much more beautiful things to live for. Suicide will never fucking solve anything. And if you ever need anyone to talk to, there's five people here, always ready any fucking time to talk to you, whatever it is, via Facebook. We'll even Skype call, give you a phone, whatever the fuck it takes to get you out of that dark place, we will do our very best. We're not professionals, and if you need professional help, we will tell you, but don't take that as an offence. It's nothing shameful about seeking professional help. It's a fucking amazing thing, and that's what it's there for. But... When you need someone to talk to and get that shit out of your head, I promise you, Railroad Resistance, we are here as well!
joined in and helped us out when we fucking needed it. This song though goes out to what would happen if we ever found the cunt that stole all of our stuff. It's put a permanent smile on their lovely face with a razor sharp blade. Which, because we're very friendly people, as I said, but we can get angry sometimes. What can I say? Uh, <laughs> and this song is exactly about that. This song is called Maimed in Chelsea. <laughs>
I cannot fucking believe this. This is fucking magical. Thank you guys so fucking much. All right. Now, if we get through this one nice and quick, I believe we might have two more. Right. Now, this song, this song kind of ties in with the uh, We Are Here thing that I was saying earlier. But it specifically goes out to the LGBT community and anyone who identifies anywhere in that spectrum. Now, if you're a metalhead, you understand what it's like to be treated like shit for being true to yourself, for wearing what the fuck you want, for loving who the fuck you want and hanging out with your fucking friends. And that shit just isn't fucking cool. You know that as well as anyone else. Is that or is that not right? Yeah. You know what it's like to be bullied? And on behalf of every fucking person that's ever been bullied for being themselves, especially people like Sophie Lancaster, I feel the metal community are especially equipped to stand up for anyone who's been treated like shit for that. If someone's getting abuse just for being themselves, please try and stand up. Use what you've learned yourself and just try and stand for them. Because all it takes is one person to go, you're a fucking cunt, leave them alone, and they will walk away with their tail between their legs. Because they know they are fucking outnumbered. They also know not to mess with the fucking metal community. That's just a fucking thing you just don't do. Now, for anyone who's ever been treated like shit, whether you're LGBT or whether you're just fucking metalhead and sick of prejudice and intolerance, this one's for you guys. This one's on my brand new EP. This one's called Jesus For You.
Thank you so very much. Thank you. That is all we've got for you. If you've had a fucking good time with us, thank you. Please remember what we've said. Come chat to us. We fucking would love to hear from you guys. And at the end of it, if you want any merchandise or anything, come see us. We got shit loads of like tie dye stuff. We got fucking loads of crap, new CDs, everything. Come say hi. Hello. We're lovely. I promise. Thank you so fucking much to everyone.